March is here and it's time to get some planning done for the rainbow theme. And we also have St. Patrick's Day, so we're going to be doing some planning for that as well. I have all my activities here laid out and I love seeing all these nice rainbow colors. It's really kind of dead and gray outside, just looking forward to spring. This is a very interesting time of year where it's that bridge between winter and spring where things aren't quite growing and they're not quite alive outside. So it's really nice seeing all these beautiful rainbow colors laid out and I'm really excited to get this set up and going in our activity room. First off, I've created a lesson menu here for you. It's very simple, just kind of outlines the key things that we are going to be covering within our rainbow theme. We have some circle time, our group art activities, as well as all the things for environment, tabletop, and movement. I've also created some beautiful images here. These are going to go on the wall and make things look really nice and colorful. In my sensory bin, I'm not going to put a filler in there. I'm just going to use some of these very small uh, linking manipulatives that I have in rainbow colors. We don't use these very often and I think it's going to be a really good opportunity to just put these in the sensory bin and let them play with these like loose parts. And for Play-Doh, I picked up some of this cloud dough. It's actually, if I can open it up here and show you that it's not sticky at all. It's kind of this interesting mix between slime and play-doh, but I think they'll still be able to mold it and have a lot of fun with that. So basically we're just going to have this cloud dough along with, with the big colorful buttons for them to squish in there and then also some of these colorful popsicle sticks. So I think they're going to have a lot of fun with that. I've also made a little play-doh mat here for some rainbow inspiration while they are playing with their cloud dough in the writing center. I just have collected a whole bunch of printables here. Some are freebies and some are for St. Patrick's Day and this one came in the teaching two and three year old St. Patrick's Day packet along with these pre-writing cards which I've laminated and then these are the nice dot pages that I saved out of the dot packet to go with this theme. For circle time I've made some discussion cards here. This one what is a rainbow? There's lots of questions and lots of opportunities for discussions and then also it's kind of hard to talk about rainbows without talking about weather and so this one is what is weather and also I've made this rainbow song card we'll be singing this cute rainbow song along with a lot of leprechaun songs if you're a fan of the kaboomers like I am you might know that they have a really fun St. Patrick's Day playlist I go off of Spotify for that there's a whole ton of fun little leprechaun songs to sing so the books that I'm going to be adding to our library and reading to the kids are Mouse Paint, A Color of His Own, Eat Your Colors, a first weather book for kids all about weather, and then Peppa Loves St. Patrick's Day. We love our Peppa Pig books, and this one I think looks really cute and will explain St. Patrick's Day really well to the children. In our dramatic play, I thought it'd be a great opportunity to have a rainbow cafe. And I've made a wall sign here along with a menu and an order here sign and some nice images to hang near the dramatic play for the children to look at some real food and some real fruit and the beautiful array rainbow colors. And then this is kind of a fun set from learning resources. It's just fruits, a fruit bowl and a salad bowl with some tongs and some bowls. This will be a lot of fun to have in there. Really simple, but um, I think meaningful. And I think the kids are going to have a lot of fun with that. On our tabletops, I have a few of these activities. These ones came in the Teaching Two and Three Year Old St. Patrick's Day packet. So there's some shamrock color matching cards. These shamrock count and clip cards, as well as this rainbow color matching card. So I'm just pairing this with some large buttons. They seem to work on there really well. This is definitely an activity for a younger age, but I think the older ch children might enjoy this too. Very satisfying putting these big buttons on there. You could also use colored pom-poms. We're going to be using our activity cube again for some action games. This one is called Rainbow Roll. So basically they'll just roll the activity card and whatever color lands up, they're going to take a bean bag. You don't need rainbow bean bags specifically, but and then these cards will be either taped to the floor or taped to a basket and they're going to toss the bean bag into the right color that they rolled and it's going to be some good exercise and a good color recognition activity. In this one I haven't completely cut it out yet but this is going to be nice. It's just where they line up the color strips here onto the other one and match that almost like a puzzle. I've also made a journal 
journal for March. This is just another printable that's going in my rainbow packet along with these nice name tags. So I'm thinking with these what we might do for our name writing activity. Have the children or help the children just depending on where they're at write their the letters of their names with these rainbow colored markers. Write each letter in a different color and I think that will be a lot of fun. You could write it and have them trace it over and over with that or they might want to attempt to do that themselves. This is another little simple game that I thought of with these Dollar Tree coins that they have right now for St. Patrick's Day. Simply rolling the dice and then the children will count out the money as they roll it. So this could be an individual game or a small group type game. One of our first uh, group activities that we will be doing is just going to be making some of these ribbon streamers. So this is just, you know, some paper streamer, but you could attach a ribbon and these are also just paint stick. Really simple, but I think they'll have a lot of fun with that and we can use that in our music and movement. For this one, we're going to be doing some color mixing with this shamrock. I will put these two paint colors on a plate, let them stir it up and with this popsicle stick and then after that they can stamp some bubble wrap into their paint and stamp it onto their shamrock and have a nice shamrock painting. This one is just a color correspondence really with these with our favorite shape foam sticker. I'll just encourage the children to place the sticker on the right color of the rainbow. For this one these are um, finger paints but you could really use any paint would work with this and I'm just going to put a dollop of paint in a line on the left side of a white sheet of paper for the kids and then they will go ahead and take these combs and pull the paint from one side of the paper to the other hence creating a nice stream of rainbow color with their comb. And these are just little inexpensive dollar store travel combs. This activity is going to be a rainbow sun catcher. So really all I've done here is cut larger than a half circle out of this plain paper plate and then I've backed it with some wax paper and taped that to the back. And then I'll just have the children glue on these little pieces of rainbow colored tissue paper. Older children might want to do these in the rainbow color order or do them in a line, but I'm guessing they're just going to be randomly placed on there. And then after that is done, then they'll glue some cotton balls onto the bottom for clouds. And when those are up to the window, those cotton balls pick up the light and the, and the tissue paper catches the light as well. And they look really nice. So I think that's going to be a fun one. For this one, we are going to be mixing some white paint with the shaving cream and we're going to make some puffy paint so that we can paint some clouds on this blue sheet of paper. So they'll basically just be taking the puff paint and painting with the paintbrush to paint some clouds and then when that's dry like the next day I will go ahead and offer rainbow colored stickers to the children and they can create their own rainbow on the puffy paint clouds uh, with these dot stickers. That will be easy and that'll be fun and I think that will have a nice result. And then we're just going to be making some rainbow necklaces and I've simply cut up some of these thicker straws like wider straws and then all they'll need to do is string that string through and then they can make a nice rainbow necklace. Since we're also talking about rainbow food, this is a little book that will kind of go along with that. They can color this and match up their coloring with the color on the page. This one I think will be pretty nice. It goes over all the colors of the rainbow. And then also this one is another gluing and vocabulary activity. So I will cut these out ahead of time. Then I give them to the children and they're able to glue that onto their plate with the glue stick and make a nice plate of rainbow fruits and vegetables. We're going to be making a fruit salad with the children and I'll just offer them a plate of little fruits that they can cut up. Then once that's done, we'll put a dollop of whipped cream like a cloud in this little cup and they can put the fruit on top of that and have a nice rainbow inspired treat. So I hope this helps and I hope it gives you some good ideas and some inspiration for the St. Patrick's Day and rainbow theme. In the next week or so I'll be making a video showing the kids working and playing with these materials so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out.